here in the next 30 minutes. It should start generating water, so it should make this bike really fire up. Of course, at that point, you know, then we can find some of those blow throughs, uh, you know, maybe out on the main lake. Uh, we're luckily we're well towards the dam. Uh, so as soon as they cut on that water, give it 15, 20 minutes. I mean, we should uh, have some current moving, some bait moving, and we should be able to uh, really find some fish. So. Until then, I'm just going to keep kind of working my way around all these points and try to find some more fish. Low power. Well, guys, I just lost a, 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 probably a giant on the spoon. Uh, just call a small bass. Uh, I'm almost positive the one that hit it. Low power. Hit it and yeah, that's probably it. Oh, I just hit the giant on the spoon, guys. Oh, they're chopping on this spot too. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh. Is... oh. oh.
my spoon but maybe it was a good thing I say I'm hopping it once, twice, maybe. All right, here we go. Ready? I don't even 
like the small stuff. I hate this thing. You, you, you heard the distress in my voice. crazy.
big one. They're still there and they're still biting. I back way off though and I'm trying to work my way up to them. So there you go. Alright guys, well it's a wrap for the day. It's around 3.30, which would be a normal check-in time. Kind of want to run through uh, what I used today to catch my fish. Uh, on the blow-through, uh, the first school that we were able to get fired up, I caught them on a shaky head uh, using a 5 16 ounce spot remover. Uh, paired up with a Zoom trick worm and gr green pumpkin blue flake. And then I was just dying to tail chartreuse. 15 pound P line tactical. I've got that paired up. I took 610 medium heavy, fast section rod, Revo SX. This is one of my favorite rods. It's a super sensitive rod, so I was really able to feel those soft bites on a long cast. Also, in that spot, I was able to catch up. A decent one on a big old 10 inch worm. This is a Zoom old monster plum apple. You know, three three quarters out. It's a tungsten weight, big five out hook, 17 pound P line tactical, and then that is a seven foot heavy action fast rod, uh, loose, uh, speed spool, Mach 2, uh, 7, 5 to 1, awesome rod. Also was able to catch uh, a couple fish, I believe today, on a drop shot. And uh, this is just what I use, 3 8 ounce lead, drop shot weight. Of course, got that with the owner cover shot hook. Love this drop shot hook. Uh, Berkeley Max Scent uh, drop shot flatworm. Uh, this is a 6'9 uh, medium light rod. I'm running a 15 or excuse me, a 15 pound braid main line up to a 10 pound four carbon leader. Of course, I connect that with the FG knot, super strong knot. Uh, what I did, the majority of my damage on today though, I was a flutter spoon, this particular one. Uh, it's just a, 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 the sexy spoon uh, from Strike King. Seven, six, uh, medium heavy, moderate action rod. I like that long rod, it allows me really to pick that bait up, move it a lot. 12 pound four carbon. Uh, this is a Revo Skeet Grease, and uh, this is what we were able to really uh, hammer down on those fish today. That once we got them fired up, it was it was just lights out. So guys, man, I hope that uh, today you enjoyed today's video. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, that really uh, motivates me, man, to want to get out here film some more for y'all. Once again, thanks for watching the Bass and Pastor. Make sure, as I said before, like, subscribe, share the video. If you do not follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and look forward to more awesome offshore fishing as the summer continues. Man, I can't wait to do some more. It'll be like today. Of course, I know how fishing works and not every day is an awesome day like we had today, but and you take these days like we've had today. Uh, and man, you just hold on to them. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, guys.